Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you guys? Good evening. Carlos. Hello, Marco. Hello, Fernando. Hello, Fernando. Hello. Let me see who else is here. Irma. Hi, Irma. Hello. Good evening, Irma. Irma Jacqueline. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good Marco evening. Antonio. Hi, Marco. Sorry. Fernando. Hi. Hi, hi, sorry. Uh, hi. Está tremendo, está bastante fuerte. Yeah, I know. It's the same. Same here. Lo mismo pasa acá. So we're going to try to do our best. Let's see. Okay. Mm, I don't really like using these buttons. Yeah, they help me. Okay, guys, so we're going to continue on what we uh, were talking about on our previous class. And let me check that. Okay. This here. In our previous class, as far as I remember, we were talking about uh, time expressions, right? In order to talk about, uh, let's say, time contrast, right? So in order to talk about events in the past, uh, in the present, and in the future, right? So do you remember that? Yes, time expressions. Okay, so for example, we have uh, some time expressions. In order to talk, let's say, about some events in the past, in the present, or in the future. So let's start. Let's try to classify each of these time expressions. So what do you think about a uh, simple present, which could be um, a time expression for the present simple? Guys, what do you think? Present simple. So which would be an expression for the present? Usually. Usually, okay, usually. Any other present simple? Next weekend, always, last night, tomorrow, last weekend, tonight, sometimes. Always. Always. Tonight. Okay. Tonight. Okay, good. Past simple. For example, I went to the beach. Okay, last night. Okay, last night. Last weekend. Last weekend. When I was younger. When I was younger. Okay, so how about be going to? Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, next weekend, and something. So let's check down. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Uh, remember that tonight uh, you, you're going to express an idea about the future, right? So I'm going to watch a movie tonight. Yes, so that's why we have that mistake. Okay, let's see. Let's continue. I have some more questions to ask you and I need you to talk to me about something that uh, maybe you think has changed. Probably uh, you can talk about something that happened in the past 
and how things have changed in the present or how things will be in the future, right? So we were talking about some things like technology, how was technology in the past, how is technology in the present and how technology will be in the future. So I need you to give me some ideas. Look at this. So here we have some common expressions, for example, uh, for the past, yesterday, last week, an hour ago, recently, a little while ago, a long time ago, in the past, this morning, and for the present. So can you read the expressions for the present? Today, this week, now, as we speak, at this moment, this day, nowadays, this time. Okay, how about for the future? Could you help us, please? Let me see. Uh, Claudia, Claudia, please, for the future. So what are some expressions for the future? The future, tomorrow, next week, in an old song, in the near future, right of in the future, eventually, later this evening. Okay, nice. So we're going to practice the pronunciation for these time expressions. For the past, yesterday, yesterday, yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. yesterday. Do you remember yesterday. the song? ¿Se acuerdan de la canción? Yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of sad, right? Okay, yesterday, last week, last week. Last week. Last week. An hour ago. An hour, an hour, 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 an hour, 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 go. Recently, recently, a little while ago, a little while ago, a long time ago, a long time ago, in the past. In the past, 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 okay, this morning, this morning, this morning, this morning, this morning, this morning, okay, so let's check the expressions for the present, today, 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 it's going to be a great day, yeah, today, this week, this, this week, week. This week. Now, 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 as we speak, as as we speak, speak, speak at this moment, at this moment, 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 moment these days, these days, 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 these days, these days, days, nowadays, 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 at this time, at this, at this time. time Okay, for the future, we have tomorrow. 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 Next, ye next week. Next, next, week. Week. next week. In an hour. In an, in an hour. hour. Soon. 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 In the near future. In the in near, the near future. future. Okay. Way off in the future. Way off Way in the future. Off in the future. In the future. Mm -hmm. So way off in the future means distant, right? Remote, so distant. Futuro lejano, let's say. Way off in the future. Eventually. Eventually. eventually later this evening. Later this evening. Later, later, later this, evening, this evening. Later, later this evening. Okay, nice. So I need you to think about one example. For example, look at the example that we have over here. Yesterday, I went to school. I went to school yesterday. This week, I'm going to New York. I'm going to New York this week. So the position of the expression can be at the beginning or at the end. But I need you to think about a topic. For example, I'm going to give you the topic. So what do you think about, let me see. Okay, cars. So this is our topic. So what do you think about cars? In the past, how 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 was um this? For example, um, a long time ago, a long time ago, people traveled. But um, let's say, 
Well, let's say people walk. Yeah, people walk. So how about the present? What do you think now? What do you think? What's happening now? These days, people So what do you think about this? So a long time ago, people walked. In the present or these days, people? Walk. Uh-huh. So what do you think? People drive. Uh-huh. So there are many people drive cars. Mm -hmm. Drive cars, yes. These days, people drive cars. So what do you think about the future? So what's going to be, uh, happen in the future? Uh, okay. So way off in the future, way off in the future, what's going to happen? People will drive. People will? Mm. Drive. drive. Maybe drive spaceships. Uh, somebody mentioned this, right? Spaceships. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Uh, okay, so now think about one example. I'm going to give you another topic. Maybe, um, let me see. How about... Maybe something. Okay, movies. Think about that, movies. So think about one example in the past, in the present, and in the future. Just uh, think about one example. Okay, so it can be in the past, in the present, or in the future. Write down your example and then send that example through the chat, okay? So think about movies. Think about any anything that you that you think about that movies. So start writing your examples. One example. So start writing your examples. Um, send your examples through the chat, okay? Envíen sus ejemplos ahí en el chat. So what do you think about car, about movies? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Kirma. Mm, okay, nice. So think about your example. You have one more minute, one more minute. Think about your example. Okay, so let's see. Um, examples. Um, Irma, can you read your examples, Irma? Mm 
Yes. A long time ago, the movies were in black and white. Okay. This no. day, we have many movies with a special effects. And the last one is, it's not ready yet. <laughs> okay. So can you repeat your second sentence? Nowadays, you say it, right? These days. Ah, okay, these days. We have many movies with special effects. 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 Okay, cool. Thanks. Let me see. Okay, Marco Antonio, could you read your examples? Hey. Uh, past. A little while ago, people watch movies in VHS format. At this moment, people watch movies on streaming services. In the near future, people will watch movies in virtual reality. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. I, I agree with you. So, there are some, right, there are some lenses, I don't know, virtual reality glasses, I guess, that you can use to watch, move, uh, to watch, let's say, like, uh, real things, right? So you um, feel like you're in a different world, right? In um, virtual reality. So, yeah, I think so. Maybe we're going to watch some holograms or things like that, yeah. <laughs> okay, nice. Um, see somebody else so we have more okay Irma you finished your the last example yes while in the future the AI will replace the actors oh wow I never thought about it <laughs> I never thought about it in the news. yeah way off in the future yeah, I think so. And well, indeed, you know, we have some cartoons that look like humans, but I don't know how the how they create that, right? So way off in the future, the uh, the AI will replace the actors and actress. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that's not good because I like watching some some people like Eugenio Derbez. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> but um, yeah. Probably, yeah. Probably there will be some people who will lose their job. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Probably, um, how about you? Let's see. Saul, uh, do you have your example, Saul? Yes, Saul, could you read your example, please? I don't have it, teacher. Um, yeah, but think about can, movies. Can, can, can you move the, 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 this? the example, please? Oh, here? <laughs> yeah, you, you say in the present. In the present. Yeah, for yeah. example. Yeah, yeah, for example. Um, this week. People going to watch um, a new trailer from Transformer. Mm, okay, maybe um, you can talk about how movies were in the past, how movies are in the present, and how movies will be in the future. Um, so how cinema will change, maybe. So now movies, um, let's see are presented for example in 4k um definition let's say for example um ahora las películas son presentadas la más la let's say the higher or the most recent definition which is 4k las movies se presentan en alta definición es 4k but how about the future? So movies probably will be uh, with uh, AI or actors will be replaced by robots or something like that. So think about it, think about it. 
Let's see. I think we have some more. Okay, Marco, what do you think, Marco? You have one example? Uh, about what? Movies. Okay. In the present, present, past, present, or future. Any, any. Well, in the future, okay. See, well, eventually we will have a higher definition than 4K. Mm, yeah, mm. I agree with you. I think so, but I don't know. So I'm expecting something good. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Um, Claudia, okay, Claudia, could you read your example, Claudia? Oh. Okay, so that's a good example, Claudia. Uh, in, uh, solo in, past, in the past, movies were shown in dry, driving. Mm, okay. Yeah, and... And do you do you remember that? Yeah, and besides that, movies were um, recorded, right? In some CDs, or uh, yes. I don't know if you had movies with uh, the big uh, cassettes, or yeah, I think they were called cassettes. Eran cassettes, los no sé cómo se llamaban esos grandotes. So in the past, movies were shown in this type of. Uh, um, let's say devices or CDs, right? So nowadays, uh, people use uh, flash drives. Ahora utilizan USBs, but um, I don't think that a lot of people do that, right? But maybe here in El Salvador, we still have that situation, right? Because not a lot of people have Netflix or YouTube or access to internet. So I think now people use uh, flash drives to, to download the movies and watch the movies at home. So just they just need a, a smart TV, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Another example. Do we have more and more example, guys? Somebody else who wants to share with us? Uh, maybe let me see somebody from the chat. Um, Juan Carlos, Maravilla, Carla, Abigail, hello. Um, may I participate? Yes, of course. And um, I am going to start to study at the university this week. This week. Okay, but let's think about a time contrast. Pero pensemos así como un, un contraste de tiempos. How was um, university in the past? ¿Cómo era la universidad en el pasado? ¿Cómo es hoy? ¿Cómo va a ser en el futuro? For example, in the past, universities um, were just for rich people, for example. Es un ejemplo. En el pasado, las universidades eran solo para personas de alto poder. Okay. So in the present, um, people have more opportunities to study in a university in a, and they don't have to pay. So in the future, how will universities um, be in the future? So let's think about that time contrast. Yes, I understand your point. Sí, and comprendo el punto. Pero tratamos de hacer un contraste de, de ideas. So how was uh, something in the past, how is in the present, and how it will be in the future? So what do you think? For example, universities. Think about one example. Think about one example. ¿Cómo serán las universidades del futuro? ¿Qué, qué piensan ustedes? Um, I think the university in the future will be better because mm -hmm. there will be more technology. Mm, yes. Okay, so and what do you think about El Salvador, guys? What do you think about El Salvador universities? El Salvador universities. So how are our universities here in the present? So what do you think? So what do you think? 
maybe Fernando, you want to share something? Fernando, Isabo, um, Jacqueline, Juan Carlos, Tobias, um, Ruth? Oh, no, uh, yeah, I mean Saul. So what do you think about, yeah, Saul? I think in the future, university will be like, um on 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 set on on the internet online uh-huh so you are going to receive classes online yes um yeah well we already have some some uh let's say some degrees online yeah but yeah I, I as i was mentioning um not all people have access to internet. So that's a problem that we have in here in these countries, that not all people have internet. But yeah, in the future, but I think it's going to take some time. Yeah, maybe it's going to take some time. Um, Jacqueline? Yeah, Jacqueline, you wanna share something? Okay, so we have Jacqueline's example. Jacqueline says, um, Jacqueline says, uh, okay, no word. I got it, Jacqueline. I think that the university will be more futuristic. The classes will be holographic. Yeah, imagine having a teacher, well, talking with a robot or something like that. <laughs> well, maybe not a teacher, but um, yeah, it may change. Mm -hmm. It may change. They can be recordings, for example. It can be a computer. Maybe computers are going to teach English. And nowadays we have some softwares um, who help you to do that. For example, you have Duolingo. So that's uh, art artificial intelligence. Um, maybe robots will do a lot of things that we do nowadays. So I think I won't teach. Maybe I will need a robot. <laughs> okay, nice. Um, okay, Juan Carlos, could you read your example, Juan Carlos Maravilla? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have, uh, yes, okay, Juan Carlos, got it. Um, I'm going to read Juan Carlos' examples. Um, in the future, universities will use better technological equipment. Yes, indeed, I think so too. Because nowadays, I think we have some equipment, but that's not enough, right, for the quantity of the students our universities have. So I think that nowadays, uh, most of universities have like, let's say, when you start uh, studying, so you are like 60, and then at the end, when you graduate, there are just a few, like 10. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I think so too, for Carlos. Irma says, in these, uh, okay, these days, uh, we can study in universities from another uh, cities, uh, countries, I guess, countries. Uh, yeah, countries, uh, cities, and, uh, and besides that, you can study anything from any place, right, from any part of the world. So you can study in different places. So without going to that place on site. So you can study online. Yeah, that's good, Irma. So imagine having everything on your computer. So why don't we study? <laughs> so I'm curious about it. Uh -huh. Yeah, but indeed, Irma, you're right. Uh, you can study, imagine, for example, uh, I work for uh, different, um, uh, Centro de Formación, so I work for different, um, let's say, institutions, and I don't go to that places, so I just uh, have my computer, I talk with them, and well, I just get ready to prepare uh, what I have to do, right, so I think that you can, 
work on life from any place. So imagine living abroad, for example, uh, yeah, living abroad and teaching classes from another country. So that, that would be great. Yeah, that's great. So you can, so these days you can, you can study, you can teach, you can work from uh, different places, from different places. Yes, and uh, I think a very futuristic thing, I think if this is, uh, I don't know if this is going to happen, but uh -huh. in the future, I think it, this uh, university is going to be in the space. In the space? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, that's okay. That's houses or people is going to live there. You can yeah, maybe. Uh, like, like... Yes, I, I do say, yeah, I have never thought about it. Yeah, this is the first time I, I'm thinking about it, Saul, but yeah, it's interesting. And, and besides that, I think that maybe we're going to live... Uh, maybe not not me but some people <laughs> maybe some people will live in uh in another planet too so that that could be possible right so they are still investigating and probably it could happen but we don't know right yeah, yeah. that's just an idea yeah that's just an idea but yeah we don't know okay yeah that, that's nice so so look it's really interesting how things uh, changed and it's important to learn how to express that thoughts, right? So in the present, in the past, uh, last week, for example, last week I was studying French, for example, today I'm studying English. Tomorrow I will be studying Italian, for example. So things changed and well, that's important to try to make that contrast between the tenses. So that's going to be really useful. So I suggest you to keep uh, practicing with this. So let's see, Um, let me see. Um, I'm gonna start sharing again here. Time contrast, let me see. Point four, okay, here. So I'm gonna play the video for you. is growing so fast. Hello everyone, before you watch our video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present, and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column, we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago, or people used to, or 50 years ago, and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present, and here we use these days, today, or nowadays, and of course, our verbs are is growing, shop, and drive, which are in the present. Last but not least, we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future, 
Therefore, we use verbs in future. Will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use. Just double check on your verbs. Okay, something that we can mention about this um, topic is that time contrast is important when you want to express your thoughts about how something was in the past how something is in the present and how something will be in the future. But besides that, we have to keep in mind that it's important to learn how to use the verbs properly. So the verbs are really important. Since you're going to be talking in the past, so you have to use the verbs in past, right? In the present, verbs in the present, like present continuous, present simple, and for the future, you know that we have different structures. Um, let's say the usage of will, uh, might, or probability, or possibility in the future, um, be going to as well. And there are some other uh, ways to express ideas in the future. But these are some of the common ones, right? This, this. Okay, let's see. Let's continue. Think about it as one sentence pretends. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions. At that time, in the past, then. Present expressions. Currently, in the meantime, now. Future expressions. In the next couple of years. Next, in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below. Okay, perfect. Let's see. So we check some more expressions and now we need you to create your own example. Okay, so we're going to have like, let's say some five minutes. Okay, five minutes. So you have to think how your life has changed into, um, well, how your life has changed. In the past, how was your life? In the present, how is your life today? And how do you think your life will be in the future? So let's see. For example, I'm going to give you um, an example. As a child, I used to think, okay, so I used to think about my future. So, but I used to think about, um, let's say, talking in English. Yeah. Yes, in the past, as a child, I used to um, think about talking in English. Five years ago, I graduated. Yes, I graduated from a math, okay, from a, a bachelor's, okay. Yeah, bachelor's degree, okay. Of English. As okay, as a foreign, foreign language, something like this. Okay, so the name is really long. Okay, so five years ago, I graduated from a bachelor's degree of English as a foreign language. Nowadays, I I teach. <laughs> I teach to several uh, groups. Um, and besides that, I work with Asa for you know, right? Next year, I'm going to, let me see, something that I'm planning to do. Next year, I'm going to, um, okay, I'm going to be working, let's say, full time in my own business. So this is just an idea, you know, okay? So I'm going to be working full time in my own business. Uh, in five years, uh, I think I'll I'll be old. <laughs> I'll be five years older. <laughs> in five years, I'll I'll work with um different companies, maybe for different companies. But I'm planning to work with the uh, government. Yeah, maybe there will be. In 10 years, I might be retired. <laughs> okay, so that will be great, you know. 
maybe in five years I'll be uh, rich or something like that. So imagine that. So in 10 years, I might be retired. And that would be great, you know? <laughs> Okay, so this is the first time I'm thinking about it. La primera que estoy pensando del, reti del retiro. <laughs> where is the vocabulary? Where is the? The vocabulary. Which one? That we were going to use. This one. This. As a child, I used to. Five years ago, I. Nowadays, I. Next year, I'm going to. In five years, I'll. In ten years, I might. So you have to use these structures and you have to complement that with um, the verbs in the correct tense. As a child, I used to think about something. I used to dance five years ago. So you mentioned something that you did five years ago. So you have to show a change. Tienen que mostrar un, una secuencia, un, un, los cambios que han, que han tenido durante el transcurso de, de, de su vida, este pequeño más tarde. ¿Qué va a pasar en el futuro? Ok, so start writing your examples. Saúl, ¿do you have questions? No. Mm -hmm. So you're going to use these structures. Esta estructura vamos a utilizar. Just think about what's going to happen or what has happened. Okay, there you have another example. As a child, I used to sing, for example. Five years ago, I sang in a talent show. Nowadays, I'm a singer. Next year, I'm going to sing abroad. Maybe you, you have got, uh, let's say, a contract and you're going to sing abroad. Uh, in five years, I'll be running a company. Voy a manejar una empresa, maybe. In 10 years, I might be singing different kinds of music. So think about that. So this is a short example. So you can create your own. So we like, we have like three minutes, okay? Three minutes. 
Let me know if you have a question. Okay, let me see. So let me know when you're ready. Carlos, you ready? Still writing? Claudia? Fernando? Irma, how are you doing, Irma? Sabo Elizabeth Torres? Juan Carlos Cubillas? Juan Carlos Manavilla, how are you doing? Marco, Carla Vigail, Raúl. Present. How are you doing? Did you finish with the um, activity? Yes. Okay, good. Let me see who else. Raúl, René, Ruth, Saúl, how are you doing? ¿Cómo vamos, chicos? Reportense. Hey, I'm doing the teacher. Okay. Okay, we're gonna start. Um, let's see, Carlos. Carlos, could you read your paragraph, please? Activate your microphone, Carlos Martinez. Your microphone is off. Carlos, Carlos Martins. Activate your microphone. It's off. Okay. Can you read your paragraph, please? Yo estaba probando el micrófono. Estaba cerrado que tenía bastante problema. Pero el cuerpo estaba volviendo fuerte. Okay. Okay, so uh, did you finish these structures, Carlos? Uh, this morning. Okay, so you're working on that. Um, let me see, Esmeralda, you're ready, Esmeralda? Esmeralda? Yes, I am ready. Okay, so could you read your paragraph, please? With an example by using the expression. Yes, uh-huh. Mm. 
Yesterday I went out to my father to my favorite restaurant. Mm, okay. It's correct. Oh, hold on. So you're gonna be using these uh structures. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm. Mm. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Nowadays uh, I am we study English. Okay, so hold on. As a, as, uh -huh. a, as a child, I used to eat a lot of candies. Uh -huh. Because, ah, uh, just that. <laughs> continue, continue. Uh, yes, uh, sorry. Five, 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 uh, mm -hmm. uh, hold five on. Years, a <laughs> years ago, I. Continue. I run in the morning every day. Run in the morning every day. No way days. I prefer go to the gym. I prefer going to the gym. Okay. Next. And the next year, I am going to participate in the competition. Participate in a competition. Okay. In five in, years. In five years, I will have a good body. Okay. Mm, okay, a healthy body. Okay, good. Healthy body. In 10 years, I made to buy my own house. Okay. I, I, I might buy my own house. Uh -huh, I might. Okay, good. Yeah, sorry, that was my uh, my fault. I didn't show you the this, but you, you can do it. Okay, let's see. Um, Somebody else. So you have to compliment uh -huh. Structure. Fernando, okay. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, no sé si entendí bien, pero voy a intentar hacerlo según lo que lo entendí. Uh, well, uh, when, uh, well, when I was a child, I liked um, too much the, the video game, especially uh, the football video game. And, mm -hmm. well, I liked too much uh, play, uh, play video games and play uh, soccer too. Um, and today I I enjoy watch uh, uh, soccer games and in, in the future, I don't know. I mean, in, in the future, I will become a, a well, I forget the word uh, it's a narrador. What is the is it? narrator? Narrator. Uh huh. Okay. And in uh, I don't think years I might will become uh, a narrator to uh, suffer. Mm, okay. Sorry. Okay. Interesting. Um, okay. So, what's your occupation? Are you a journalist or? Oh, uh, no. Well, uh, I, actually, I mm, really invented that. But, well, <laughs> I really, really love uh, uh, soccer. I, I enjoy watching it, but um, uh, actually, I, <laughs> I imitated uh, some and narrator to Argentina. I prefer that uh, that the journalist to to watch uh, soccer, and mm -hmm. I like it too much. Okay, yeah, I understand. Okay, yes. Um, you have to give your description using these phrases. As a child, I used to, but it was okay. Yeah, it was okay. As a child, I used to eat a lot of candies. For example, five years ago, I ran in the morning every day. Nowadays, I prefer going to the gym. Next year, I'm going to participate in a competition. 
In five years, I'll have a healthy body. In 10 years, I might buy my own house. So think about it. Let's see, somebody else who wants to share with us. Somebody else, maybe, um, let me see, Irma? Actually, your microphone, your, it's, it's mute. Okay, you can start. Hello, Irma? Mm, no sé por qué no la escuchamos, Irma. Irma, hello. Ok, vamos a esperar ahí a Irma que, que solucione el problema del micrófono, pero no la escuchamos. Ok. Let's see, uh, maybe Isabo Elizabeth. Isabo? Isabo Elizabeth Torres? Ajá, sí, Irma. Ya, yeah, I was, I noticed that. Ok, let's see. Uh, Ok, Irma. Ahora, no, no, no funciona todavía. It's not working. Ok, um, let's see, Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. You want to share with us, Juan Carlos? Let me see if I can do it. Ah, ok, Saúl. Good. As a child, I used to think how to drive a car. Five years ago, I drive my own car. Mm -hmm. It was a Honda Civic. Nowadays, I work um, as, a, as a driver. Okay. In a, the store next year i'm going to i'm going to buy a car okay another car a new car yeah and in a five years i'll i'll be I'll be, I'll be selling these cars. Okay, in five years, I'll be selling cars. Yeah, that's good. How about and in years? In, and in 10 years, I might, might drive um, a, a Tesla. I think I need, huh? <laughs> a Tesla. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, I don't know. I may. Maybe. Okay. Uh, so what were you thinking about 10 years? In 10 years, I might be? Or I might be... Uh, and be flying <laughs> to Fly. another country. Yeah. Flies to another country. Yeah. I like your idea. <laughs> I really like your, your, your thinking about being, um, let's say... A businessman, yeah, I like your idea. Okay, let's see. Mm, somebody else, good job, so uh, Marco, Marco Antonio, if you want to share, Marco. Okay, let me see. A long time ago, I watch, I watch cartoons. Hmm. Nowadays, I watch movies. In the near future, probably I will read instead of watching TV. Mm, okay. Okay, yeah, that's interesting. You know, you, you were thinking about your a hobby that you have. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, I still have some doubts about reading. <laughs> but maybe when we get old, well, we, we, we change, right? <laughs> As we, we get old. 
Let's see. Nice, uh, Marco. Um, Carlita? Aguilar, Carla Abigail. Hello. Do you want to share, Carlita? Yeah, probably. Um, okay, uh, your microphone. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Jacqueline, Raul, Rene. I don't know, Rene, did you share, Rene? I'm not so sure. I threw your microphone. Rene Giovanni Martinez. I'm gonna try to help you, Rene. Okay, let's see. Who has any share? Somebody who is not a listener today? Fernando. I don't know, Fernando, if you participate. Yeah, I think so, right? Uh, Isabo. Raul, Rene Giovanni, Ruth. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, Ruth, do you want to share with us? Okay. As a child, I used to play jacks with my house. Mm -hmm. uh, five years ago, I went to Usulutan every Monday. Oh. Nowadays, I prefer to stay my home. Okay. Uh, next year, uh -huh. I am going to Guatemala. In mm -hmm. five years, I leave other country. And I ten years, I need to have own business. Mm -hmm. I might have my own business. I might. My own business. Uh -huh. I might own my own business. Okay. My own, my own. No, I might have. My have, my run. My run, I think you said, right? My run. I might run my own business. Okay, Ruth, good. Um, let me see. Uh, okay, yeah, good. So something that you have to consider here is uh, taking care, right, of uh, the usage of the verbs. For example, in here, you need an infinitive because you already have a past uh, with this st a structure, right? As a child, I used to dance. Five years ago, I um drove, I ran. So I will check the bird. And five years ago, I drove. You said drive. So you drove in the past, right? Nowadays, I prefer going to the gym. I prefer listening to music. I prefer watching movies. I prefer working at home. I prefer studying online, for example. Next year, I'm going to study abroad or in, let's say, in another country like U.S. or London, I don't know, United Kingdom. Okay, so in five years, I'll have, okay, so you have will and you have a base for I'll have. In 10 years, I might plus infinity. Okay, uh, basically, in here, you you um have the structures, most of them. You have the structures in the correct tense. But we have to be careful with that. We have to be careful with that with the form of the verbs um let's see Rene do you want to share it no so and we're finished okay so now guys uh we're going to finish and just let me pass the attendance please and then you're free to go I don't know Rene do you have problems with your microphone So let me know, guys. Okay, Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Present. Okay, Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Present teacher. Claudia Esmeralda Isabel Martinez Orellana. Irma Jacqueline Manzano de Rivas. Okay, you might have troubles. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Uh, please, guys, say present, okay? Say present. 
Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Present, teacher. Thanks. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Juan Carlos Cubía Bonilla. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Carla Aguilar Rodríguez. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present. Thanks. Marco Antonio Quijano Eguizábal. Present. Thanks, Marco. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present. Thanks, Raúl. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. Present, teacher. Thanks, Raúl. Uh, okay. René. Uh, Ruth María Los Amaya de Guardado. Teacher. Thanks, Ruth. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present, teacher. Okay, thanks. And Stephanie Jamilet Pérez Romero. Stephanie? Okay. okay, guys, so that's all for today. Uh, please stay. If you have any question, you can stay. That's all for today, guys. I'll see you in our next class. So that's going to be um, tomorrow, guys. So have a good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Don't forget, we have a class at uh, 9, okay? 9. Bye-bye, guys. See you. See you. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.